Nice. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. It is a absolutely gorgeous 4th of July. I hope everybody's having a good time. Um, yeah, cows are looking good. We got to get this narrowed up so that we can go spraying. That is the plan, and I'll explain later on. Maybe in this video, maybe in the next, we will see what our timing is what exactly is the plan but appreciate you guys watching along are, are these tires going to move in by themselves or uh are we going to fight every bit of it so somebody did well ritzels did put new rubber on this i think they did back front and back new new rims um they were just wore out and then they painted this so it is set up for well set up for uh snap on duels the biggest concern I have is that has inner wheel weights, which are, they're kind of in the way to move those wedges. Um, we'll get it figured out. So appreciate you guys watching along and let's see what we can do. I wanted the clogs, I guess, is that the actual name? That way it's all right up at the top. Plus that means the wedge bolts for the inner ones, those are at the top now. So I'm hoping that gives me a little bit of ability, but I doubt it. I think we're moved all the way in, to be honest. I really do. So I don't know if I got any extra room in here. So first things first, uh, this has one wedge bolt that's already broken inside. Oh no, it's out. But that's gonna be our, we'll loosen these up. <sighs> Kinda hoping I can loosen them up enough and not have to loosen the back, but I've never had good luck like that. So let's just see what we got. I'm not sure why they put the wheel weights on the inner. I get it on some applications. Um, that's gonna make my life very challenging. <sighs> Worst thing is if I get this apart and I can't actually move it in anymore, then that's not even good. I have a feeling it can go a little bit more. Even if I gain an inch, inch and a half, that would be a lot better than being right on because the corn rows are gonna be like this. So, I take it I should be able to bring it right to here. <sighs> hmm. It's either that or I jump it over one. I leave those alone. Could do that. Just move it over to the next rib. 
I got to thinking and said, uh, well, that's going to be an issue. But I don't think so. I think we're in far enough. We could narrow it up. Let's get another spot if we need to go over one more. Um, I'm going to measure it and we'll see. Yeah, 45 sits out here. We're dead in the middle. So 30 or 15 would be there plus 30, 45. Did I measure weird in the back? Am I actually okay? No, the front's good. So 15, put that in the center of the draw bar. 45 is right here. So that's a little tight on it. So if we move it in two inches, we'll be in a much better place. Just take all the wedge bolts out. That should gain us. I'm hoping it's not too far apart. Now we gotta make everything straight again. Most fun. That's not gonna work. It moves it in too far and hits. So we gotta pull the wheel off, get this actually moving, and go from there. Good thing with this, it's only, well, two wheels, 7520. We've moved some things around quite a bit over the years. And well, when you're moving eight wheels, it's not so much fun. So hopefully we only do this once. Um, I'd like to see if I got more to move in. What we really got to do is take this inner wheel weight off and move it back so that we can get into there with a wrench, loosen the top, get that all moved around. Um, my options are either move this casting in two more inches or an inch and a half, I guess. Um, make it so it can move. We'll, we'll get it all lubricated up. and Or move it out some and put it on the other set of uh, notches. So as you see, there's two different depths depending on where you want to be. So I'll go ahead and start taking this wheel weight off. Um, what are they, 100 and something pounds? I never remember. They're freaking heavy though. So, oh, once they're off there, yeah, we'll see what we do. Not a bad thing to get that out, get that cleaned up. Okay, that works. 
worked out. So now this wheel weight's sitting here. Didn't break the grease fitting because we took that out. I'll just slide it up onto here. And then it will be out of the way. I can work on the, the center, I guess it would be. Got it split. Pulled up to here. Now I can get a wrench on there, loosen those, get this casting. The plans probably pull the casting all the way out, lubricate everything. That way in the future, for some reason we gotta widen things out or anything. Well, it will be good. This is not coming off. Um, we're loosened up, everything's been heated. Bunch of crawl, crawl oil put on it. Got the jack clearly on it with tension on it. A lot of tension and it's not moving which is not good because we got to go pick something up this afternoon we really i really need this running by tonight okay let's see now i got him i got him let me loosen up those other okay that makes me feel better it's gonna be a long day. So, heat, curl oil, the jack on the end. What am I doing? That's a 33. That does not run that. That's for a plow bolt. Wait. Oh, that is that one. Probably because I was hitting them. It doesn't help, but. Okay, we gotta trim down the edges because of, uh, well, hitting them did not help them out, but mixture of all that and we're loose. So the wedges are out. I wanna take everything right apart. We're gonna never seize everything. And then, uh, We'll put it back together, we'll figure out our spacing, clean up the bolts. I was beginning to lose faith. See that? That's how we do it. Next option was to put everything back together, leave the bolts out or loose, drive around and see if it would, it would fall off. So now, get everything out. If we do this, this is probably seized up too. We got it now. <sighs> Figures, holiday. Should take the day off and go sit on a boat or something like that. But it's just the timing I got. I'm gonna have to have Jono come help me probably lift all this stuff. He went in the house. We were supposed to go get some lunch. Probably run to Stewart's grab some lunch, but I said I'm just gonna mess with it for another minute and we'll go from there, so. I need two hands for this.
I'm in with that. I'm taking that weight off. They're going on the outside. They go out. So here's the problem. Stuff gets built up in here. And as you see, there's no screwdriver. Like that's all supposed to look the same. So if they never move, then nothing ever changes. So all of that is supposed to look like that, but that's where it was sitting. And just stuff rusts away. So we'll get it cleaned up and go from there. We're gonna put the wheel weights on the outside. That way it's easier to work with it. I gotta put some never sees on before it gets too far in here, but figured I'd have them pick that up for me. So I don't want them on the inner because we're gonna bring this all the way in. Um, so I was thinking they would line up here. I am incorrect. That hole goes through and then goes to this one. That goes into this little spacer here. So we're gonna have to leave the wheel weights off for now. We gotta get the right hardware, which is perfectly fine. So I'll have him back out, set those down. We'll throw the wheels on. Well, now that we uh, got it, moved out and everything else. Now I can slide it back in, get it closed, tighten the bolts in the back, tighten the bolts in the front. Call it a good day for one side. Well, we definitely have enough on length on this axle now to put another hub 
is uh, five inches based off what I measure, measured off the 7520. So we just gotta get some hubs and some duels, and then we can row crop dual it for planting probably next year for spraying, fertilizer spreading, duels. No thanks, um, not for right now. We are close, but we got a good gap. Like we're gonna be okay. So here is the final test. We put that through the middle. So 15's right there. 45 is right there, so oh, uh, right there. Yeah, there you go. So we got probably five inches on one side and probably six on one, five on the other. That's that's gonna make spraying good. And the front tires actually line up perfect with them. So they're actually a little bit in. So I'll finish snugging up these bottoms. Set this down, we gotta do the other side. Well, we got one side done. You can see there's a big gap between that and there's about nothing between that. It's not going to hit. Don't worry. Don't worry at all. But uh, yeah, we just got to throw that snap ring back on. So whatever, if it ever walked back off, but other than that, we'll lift the other side and we'll do the same thing. So what we got to do to throw those actual wheel weights on, which are over there, they sit in here. So we need the bolts that go through here into it and then they snug down we'll just grab some hardware for that this week um but i don't need the weights right now we might put some extra weights on, on it but i'm very happy that this slides that way if we do need to do some row crop stuff or move it out or do something like that now it all functions as it should um like i said i think my plan is to get the hubs they'd go from about here to here and then we can put duels on it. Um, yeah, a little bit better on the hills, better for planting, stuff like that. You just get a little more traction. But otherwise, the 4640 is, uh, well, it's become a good row crop tractor. <sighs> Once you get rolling with the process, then you remember a lot of it. Well, you remember the tricks. Take the wheel weights off. Already took the grease fitting out. Holy smokes, that one's on there. are going to fight us this time.
Nice. Well, I guess that hardwood freight breaker bar. Well, it's good they got warranties on them. We have been abusing them. I guess it's time to get like a real heavy, heavy duty one. I can't blame Harbor Freight for that one because well, I just broke my nice one. Yeah, work on the holidays. We'll be good. It'll be fun, they said. Well, I guess it's time for a one inch uh, socket set and one inch breaker bars because uh, I break the, I have broke the three quarter sets. Um, I just never, <sighs> whoever put those bolts on that hold the weights and it might have to do with the weight still being on it uh i was trying to figure that out too but i got no way of pushing it back because it's sitting on it and it's super super heavy i guess i might be able to spin it around i don't know it's fighting me big time and i wanted that this done hours ago so that i could put the auto steer in and uh at least have something of mapping for what we're gonna do next, but we might have to go to plan B. Well, we're defeated with that for today. Don't worry. It's, uh, what time is it? Six o'clock. We still got plenty of things to do, so. Alrighty, I'm gonna change, probably shower quickly, and we're gonna go do our next thing. Just cruising along, we picked up something that's in the back, it's not even Yanko, it's something else. We're cruising along. I'm gonna drop John off. We're gonna pick up another thing. You know, we're out sightseeing. Relax, people. We're not that far from home. We're, uh, it is the 4th of July. We never got fireworks. So we're all, we're gonna have our fingers at the end of the day because some people don't have that afterwards. Cruising along here, Fort Plain, back into Canada, Johari. Quite a bit of Amish out here. Here comes another buggy up the road. Okay, so we went with plan B, which uh, is literally driving in front of us as a full package. I appreciate my buddy. You know who you are. I'm not gonna say any names. Um, we got a sprayer and a tractor, and we're gonna push pretty hard for the next two days. Get everything sprayed, be in a good place, and uh, go from there. So the sprayer was the plan for the last, uh, I'm gonna go with a month. And the tractor was the plan for about the last six hours. So just due to the 4640 moving the wheels in is fighting me and I wanna be done. We got a good set of wind or good window frame and uh, they got done with the sprayer and they said, come take it. Well, here's our sprayer. We also got a tractor, which you gotta come this way a little bit. So, I got good people in my life. I really do. And uh, the sprayer was planned. The ink was all revved up. Sprayer was planned. Tractor, not so much. But I do appreciate the people that, uh, I got a lot of good support. I do, I do give it credit. So we're gonna get this loaded up. Hardy Ranger 550, um, 45 foot booms. Not my dream setup, but it's gonna work and I really appreciate what's, yeah. Well, John, I shut the lights off. So I really appreciate what goes on here because uh, he's all pumped up. It's gonna get me through this year and then we're gonna figure out what we really wanna do long term. So I'll see you guys on the next one. How was it? Good drive? Yep. Comfortable? So appreciate you guys and uh, we're gonna get some corn sprayed. Hopefully we're gonna have a good year and uh, go from there. So have a good one.